Welcome back to ultrasound teaching videos with Dr. Arshad Nadeem Awan. Hope you are all okay. Hope you are all enjoying. Hope you are practicing ultrasounds as well. Hope you are uh, benefiting and helping the communities. Uh, as you know that I am on the course of ultrasound uh, related to the gynecology. And my first topic was uh, uterus. I have discussed about the uterus. And uh, during this discussion, I, I will discuss about the endometrial thickening, the normal sizes of the uterus, normal endometrial thickening, and a lot many other points. So I'm sure that uh, those who are watching regularly my videos, they will definitely know that uh, what topic these days are going on and which topic has been done. Today, my topic of discussion is enlarged uterus. If uh, you come across enlarged uterus, there could be certain possibilities like, for example, if there is intrauterine pregnancy, so there will be definitely enlarged uterus. And on the ultrasound imaging, you will be able to see the intrauterine gestational sac. And in second case, if there is any uterine fibroid, then the uterus would be enlarged. So be careful while you are looking for the uh, uterine parenchyma. And if there is any heterogeneous parenchyma, there will be likely chance of ill-defined fibroids. So if there are, there are ill-defined fibroids, so the parenchyma will appear heterogeneous. But normally, most of the time, you can observe well-defined fibroids. If they are, these are small in size, this will distend the uterus but in case of enlarged fibroids they will be enlarged uterus and this condition would be called as uh, leomyoma you try you try if there is there are multiple fibroid uh, the third uh, differential is leomyosarcoma which we cannot differentiate on that sound we need to have histopathology we need to have the biopsy to confirm whether there is any carcinomatous changes within the fibroids or not in uh, endometrial carcinoma, again, there will be enlarged distended uterus. So this is another possibility. You should have to look for that. And in the fifth condition, uh, we, will, we can say that if there is any congenital anomaly, like there is a, a uterine diadal phase or there is bicarnuate uterus, so uterus will appear enlarged. The moment you see that the uterus is enlarged, so these five point, point must always keep in your mind. So watch this video. I'm sure this will enhance your knowledge regarding the enlarged uterus differential diagnosis. Enlarged uterus could be due to these five reasons. But before going to talk about enlarged uterus, you should know that what's the normal value of the uh, uterus in uh, with respect to its size. Again, I would say here that it, the size of the uterus is depend upon the patient's build, uh, its uh, growth, its uh, response to different hormones. But it is considered to be normal during the reproductive life if the uterus is 8 into 5 into 3, like 8 cm length and width uh, should be 5 cm and depth should be 3 cm. If you see that the uterus is enlarged, so first you should have to look for the pregnancy. During the pregnancy, the uterus will definitely be enlarged. It is a normal physiological process. So this would be considered as a physiological enlargement of the uterus. And again, it depends upon uh, the degree and the age of the pregnancy. In another condition, there are multiple leomyomas. If it is singular and small in size, it will not enlarge the uterus. But uh, we have seen that in multiple cases, there are multiple fibroids enlarged enough to raise up to even epigastric region. So in that case, the uterus will also be enlarged and even it will lose its anatomical architecture. So therefore, be careful if there is enlarged uterus always look for its parenchyma and use t transvaginal scan to look for the endometrial, uh, endometrial and myometrial pattern, uh, endometrial compression, myometrial protrusion and there are different types of the leomyomas, maybe subserosal, intramural, intramural, submural and uh, multiple varieties. So in case of leomyoma, the uterus will be enlarged. In case of carcinoma of the endometrium, if there is any, any endometrial carcinoma, the first point you will be able to see there will be endometrial thickening and this endometrial will be 
uh, seeing embedded within the myometrial part and there will be no endometrial myometrial interface it will be challenged so in that case the uterus response will be enlarged uterus will appear either bulk bulky or it will be frankly enlarged so in case of carcinoma of the uterus uh, you will see they will be enlarged uterus the another carcinomatous condition uh, which is related to the soft tissue or the myometrial body that is called as sarcoma leomyosarcoma is another uh, entity where you will find the uterus would be enlarged leomyosarcoma and leomyoma are quite different difficult to uh, visualize on the ultrasonography so for that purpose you need to have the hysterectomy or you need to have the myomectomy and then look for the histopathological results and then it will help you to understand between the leomyoma or leomyosarcoma uh, so far the uh, rate of the leomyosarcoma is concerned as compared to leomyoma it is very rare there are certain congenital anomalies in which the uterus will also appear enlarged and that anomaly is called as uterine didelphus so in these all five conditions you will see the uterus will be in the enlarged two of them is uh, physiological the one is normal physiological pattern that is pregnancy and another is congenital anomaly in these two conditions the uterus will be enlarged and rest of the diagnosis would be pathological uh, so far the congenital anomalies are concerned uh, i will upload uh, another separate video in respect to different congenital anomalies of the uterus so that would be definitely worth watching